you see a lot of the Anaheim Ducks. You see more Pacific Division hockey than me. You see more West Coast hockey than me, even though I try to watch as much as possible. They are a machine. Is it fair to call them that? I don't know. They're, they're a fun factory. Maybe that's probably the best way to put it. Six third period comeback wins this season. They've only played 15 games. They had another one last night. John Gibson doing his thing. Goaltending has been a big part of what they've managed to do so far, but you know, there's, there's been plenty of other fun stuff happening too. Right now. I know you've, I know you've seen a good bit of this firsthand. So what are we thinking of the ducks? You know, is it sustainable? How much fun are we having? And, and uh, what's, what's your big takeaway through, you know, again, six third period comebacks for them so far. Yeah, like you said, they've been exciting. Last night's game was really good. The the Ducks Predators game. Um, it was a goaltending duel between Saros and Gibson, two of the best in the league. Early on, Saros was unbeatable. Like I thought the Ducks were actually. It's weird because they they fell down two nothing, and then they come back mm-hmm. to win three two. You say, oh, they were they were a terrible start, and then they, they they. I thought they were good from start to finish, and just early on, they just couldn't beat UC Saros. Um, he had a couple really nice saves on on like odd man rushes where he slid across to get a pad on a shot. Um, and Gibson was good again. He's been good all year. And like mm-hmm. you look at all these third period comebacks and yes, it's the scoring and Anaheim, their young players, McTavish and, and all these guys are finally starting to come in their own. And that's part of why they have these comebacks um, is you've got some some high octane young players that can put the puck in the net. But to me, the biggest reason they have six third period comebacks is because John Gibson and Lucas Dostal, their, their backup goalie, have both been so good to hold them in games and give them a chance. They, they come back from down to nothing last night. They did it. I watched them do it against the Golden Knights. They gave the Golden Knights their first regulation loss of the season, mm-hmm. coming back from down to nothing in the third period. And that's just because Gibson's good enough to hold them in games early when maybe they aren't at their best. And then eventually those young kids get going. And, and maybe maybe the youth in Anaheim is, is part of the reason they're so good late in games. They're they're wearing teams out with their speed and, and they're able to get some goals late. Um, I don't know how serious this team is in terms of like being a contender, but they're for sure better than we thought they were going to be. And obviously last year it was a disaster in Anaheim. So they had nowhere to go, but up, but they're playing more structured. Um, they Cronin has them playing more structured and it's helping the goalies back there and, and they have really good ones. So they've looked good. I, I like Anaheim a lot. I think John Gibson's having the kind of season that we all wanted him to have and the kind of the kind of season he frankly needed to have, right? He's got the rep as an elite goaltender. He's certainly done it in the past. He's paid like an elite goaltender. I think what we're seeing from him is uh, is a return to form that was definitely uh, necessary from coming to the season. Look at uh, uh, Pittsburgh legend, Johnny Gibson, Whitehall, Whitehall, Pennsylvania. My aunt taught him in elementary school. Like nobody's rooting harder for that kid than me, right? But he needed to have a good uh, a, a good run here he's i think sixth in the league and goal saved above expected dostal is in the discussion there too they're both above water there so yeah it, it you know begins and ends uh for and i'm with goaltending which is fine it counts and it's fun like we we're still at that point in the season i think where we don't need to worry just how sustainable this is right let's enjoy the ride let's you know watch some fun hockey and, and watch some watch some surprise teams and uh take what we can from it right the time to you know pop the balloons will be, will be a little bit later. 